everybody, Michael Mass here, back at Epcot. Normally I do some tips and tricks. I might do some of that today, but today we're gonna preview a little Epcot flower and garden. So if this is your first time on the channel, hit the subscribe button there. Let's get started. Please stand clear of the door. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Normally I do like some tips and tricks and things here, but Epcot Flower and Garden starts in a few days. This is obviously missing something right now, as there will obviously be a topiary area there in the next couple days. Uh, I'm gonna post this probably on Tuesday, so by the time this is up, it'll be tomorrow, and Epcot Flower and Garden will have started, as you can see. I love me, love me some Flower and Garden, and I'm a little sad that I'm not gonna be here for the opening of it, but I'll be back and be able to enjoy plenty of it throughout the spring. Tell me, what is your favorite festival here at Epcot as we as we walk in to Flower and Garden about to start? There's like four festivals. This is like the festival headquarters now. What is your favorite festival here at, at Epcot and why? Why is that your favorite festival? I know a lot of people like the food and wine because there's more food. I love Flower and Garden because it is so stinking beautiful in Epcot this time of year. As we walk in this year, the first topiary you're gonna see outside of the one that's gonna be right at the entrance, looks like it's gonna be Donald and the boys here. Get Donald and the boys gardening. I think Donald's trying to catch him a butterfly or two there. This one is right behind, right behind Spaceship Earth there. Donald and the boys, I think he's put them to work. I heard a great percentage of the topiaries were up, but I am pretty sure there'll be another topiary right here and it's not here yet. It's not here yet. Right next to Journey to Imagination, the fountain, and the butterfly garden, which is right over here. Sure, there's gonna be a topiary there. As we wander into World Showcase, the topiary starts showing up again. And there is our old pal, Figment. Yes, Figment, he's been moving all around the last few festivals. Uh, a couple festivals ago, he was right behind there, Spaceship Earth. During the Arts Festival, he was right up front, and now, now he's pretty much at the entry of World Showcase. And as we make our way further into the Flower and Garden Festival, we are about to experience my favorite part of Flower and Garden. This beautiful tapestry here surrounding, surrounding the lake. This tapestry is amazing and easily, easily a highlight of Flower Garden. I love it when it comes back and I miss it when it's gone. Here it's laid out just a little bit differently. I remember the first year I was here, there was a ton of, of hidden Mickeys. This year it looks like butterflies and flowers. Is that a rainbow? Is that a rainbow there? One of the things I definitely love, 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 love when it comes to flower and garden. Oh, it's spring. Wait a second, those trees haven't even bloomed yet. It's one of those great things about flower and garden that if you come at the beginning, it might look like this. And it's just going to continue to grow for the next three months. Look at all these butterflies. The butterflies at the entrance of World Showcase here. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. Problem is we're a couple days early, so the food booths ain't open yet. They're not open. Oh, but all that yummy food that will be at Flower and Garden. I can't wait to get back and try every bit of it for you. Looks like the Anna and Elsa Topiaries are back where they belong here in Norway. I mean, Arendelle, right in front of the Royal Summer House. Hold on a second, does this look like a happy gnome or a sad gnome or maybe a little bit of a scared gnome? I'm not really sure what they're going for here. I think he looks like a homeless gnome as they've taken his home and it, turned it into Frozen Ever After. Don't worry folks, you can't be sad for the gnome for too long as he's cute. Cute, cute and cuddly. Cuddly panda bears are the next topiary as we see as we go around World Showcase. Over here, over here in China. We have made it well, one fourth, one fourth of the way around. One fourth, one fourth of the way around World Showcase. We've had uh, Mexico, Norway, and China checked out the, uh, the topiaries there. There was only topiaries in two of those. I didn't see one in Mexico. I might have missed it or they might not have it up yet. 
But here's the great thing about Epcot. Isn't this, look at this. Let's look at what's behind me. This is such a, such a beautiful day here at Epcot today. That's the one thing I love about Epcot is just coming out, chilling, relaxing, and doing a little just, just breathe. As we round the corner and head to Germany, we run into Simone and Pumbaa in their normal spot here at Flower and Garden. One of those two just looked up to no good. Which one, which one do you think is up to no good there? Huh? The rest of the Lion King crew over here hanging out. And definitely one of the trademark scenes of that movie. What? Wait, wait, what are these? What are these flowers? Wow, these are some ridiculous looking flowers here. Aren't these like beautiful? They almost look like they could be like, okay, they're probably not obviously if they're planted around here, but man, they look like they're one of those flowers that are so like beautiful. If you touched it, like it would hurt you. <laughs> Just saying, wow. And I know what they're not. They're definitely not petunias. We head into Germany. Of course, the seven dwarfs are helping out Snow White here along the way. Boy, does Grumpy look grumpy. And Sleepy definitely looks a little bit tired. Oops, Sneezy, Sneezy's holding it in. And somebody looks just a little bit dopey back there. Look at what I almost missed as I was walking past Germany, shooting the time lapse. I almost missed the all time for the all timers and the classic for the classics. Lady in the Tramp Topiary, wow. One of my faves, one of my faves period. These two just, this is, this is, this is hashtag, hashtag relationship goals definitely here. As you can see here in the American Pavilion, they are getting ready for the concert series that is going to accompany Company Flower and Garden. Well, guys, I've made it to Morocco, so I'm I'm more than half the way around the World Showcase, and I am I'm about to die of heat here. It's 85 degrees in Florida. It is really hot already. I stopped into Morocco and filled up my Camelback. I'm not really endorsing Camelback, but I carry a water bottle with me all the time now. Thanks to my mom for uh, the Christmas gift because, like, she's like, you need something, like, because you're gonna like you drink so much water in the park, or you need to drink water. So, yes, thanks, mom. Um, but yeah, I'm carrying this for me all the time. I stopped in Morocco. They filled it up with water. I could have got more ice probably, but I am grateful for that because now I can stay hydrated. So definitely guys, stay hydrated in the park. This Florida heat is not something to mess around with. As we continue to make our way around World Showcase, right across from Bell here, is another scrimmed up area that will definitely have one or two. That's probably gonna have the Florida Fresh booth right here next to France. Speaking of Paris, as we go into Paris, guess what? You easily get the most photographed topiary in all of, well, maybe the second most if you count the entryway, but definitely the most photographed topiary in Flower and Garden. It's gonna be Belle and Beast. We're about to walk into Britain, guys, but if you ever wanted to like kind of know where your relation to things on Disney property was, right now we're in Britain at Epcot, and that is the Aerophile balloon over at Disney Springs. So right over that way is where Disney Springs is in relation to where Epcot is. And as we go into Britain, we sneak up on Peter Pan and Captain Hook engaged in their never ending, well, I don't know if Peter has a sword really, but looks like a never ending little battle between Hook and Pan here in Britain. As we wind our way around World Showcase, I do think these are the last topiaries you're gonna find in World Showcase. I'll of course keep my eyes open if we run across any more, but you're gonna find Winnie the Pooh and Pals, Tigger, Piglet, Rabbit, and Winnie all in topiary form over here just before you enter Britain coming from Canada. Well, that's it for all the topiaries, topiary, topiaries? There's topiaries apparently. That's it for all the topiaries in World Showcase. What was your favorite topiary in World Showcase, guys? Uh, just let me down, no, know down below. And if you, there's a topiary that you haven't seen that you really would like to see, um, why don't you let me know about that too? Because we kind of get the same topiaries every year and it would be nice to kind of see some change up on that. We are over here in front of Test Track right now. And I'm gonna give you a sneak peek because I just saw it as I walked up over here. Let's go take a sneak peek of the, the, the topiary is over here. He's hidden behind the grass wall here. Looks like we have a couple of the Cars characters back here with uh, Lightning McQueen and I don't know. I'm not so well versed in Cars, but obviously the Cars vehicles are back over here next to Test Track. 
hidden away right now, waiting for the debut of Flower and Garden. And one last operator, as I would have thought, and it is actually already out, is Buzz Lightyear over here next to Mission Space. Well, guys, I think that's it. I think that's it. I, I think there's probably something behind here hiding. I do think there's something behind there hiding. Um, but that's it for our journey around all the topiaries here at Epcot's Flower and Garden Preview. So I preview the topiaries and walk around. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more to do and a lot more to see once the festival kicks off. But, I mean, there's still a lot to do right now. There's, it's beautiful here already. It's just going to continue to get more and more and more beautiful as the festival just goes on and on and on. Uh, definitely love me this time of year here at Epcot. Spring is in the air. You can smell it. You can feel it. And in a couple of days, you can definitely will be able to see it everywhere. Guys, I think that is going to be it. It's going to be it for this journey around Epcot. Checking it all out, having a little bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down there. If you hit that like button, it helps this video populate a little bit more and maybe more people see it and more people can enjoy the fun the fun of Epcot <laughs> flower and garden I'm gonna get out of here call it a day it is hot 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 here I hope you enjoyed this little trip guys till next time thank you for your time here's the life